So in the last video we left off at the concept of an exact differential equation and we discussed that if we have the condition partial derivative of n with respect to y equal to derivative of n with respect to x then we have an exact differential equation but what happens when these two are not equal? Well, the f right away we can tell that's not an exact differential equation but that implies something else, that implies that we actually need to figure out a new method for solving that type of equation. So I'm going to use different notation here just to illustrate the difference between um, exact and inexact differential equations. So we're going to assume that this one is not an exact differential equation. So in this case the condition is the derivative of p with respect to y is not equal to the derivative of q with respect to x. And this implies that there must be some function that we can apply to this whole differential equation that would actually make it an exact differential equation that we can solve. So how can we do that? Well, there are two things that we need to try out. First of all, there's going to be a function r that is going to be defined as 1 over q partial derivative of p with y minus and that should be a function of x only and we're going to have another function which we're going to call r dash that's going to be 1 over q sorry that should be 1 over p there for this to make any sense that's going to be q over q now for x and that's going to be p with respect to y and that's going to be solving a function of y so what does this mean well that means that if we have this we're going to have the function as exponential of r with respect to x and this one is going to lead to f equal e the power of the integral of r dash with respect to y. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, where does this come from? Well, there's a whole derivation from this which I might cover in a different video, but for now what I want to illustrate is what we're going to do if this is the case for the differential equation that we're given, and how can we proceed from here to actually solve the differential equation. So we need to test out whether this is reducible or this is reducible. What I mean by reducible is this expression here, or this expression here. Reducible means that once you solve for this, you get a function solely of y if you're finding r dash, or if you get a function that is only a function of x if you're solving for r. So I'm going to illustrate this with an example now. So I'm just going to erase this a little bit. So the example that I'm going to use is the following. Say you're given the differential equation e x plus y plus y e to the power of y dx plus x e to the y minus 1 equals to 0. Well, immediately we can call this p and we're going to call this q. So what is the derivative of p with respect to y? Well, that's just going to be e x plus y plus y e to the y. And of course, we use the product rule here, and that's going to be plus e y. And then the derivative of q with respect to x, that's going to be e y. So, clearly these two are not equal, which means this is not an exact differential equation. But more than that, we can actually find a function f that would allow us to solve for this. So, how can we do that? Well, we're going to try to find the function r, which as I said before, is simply going to be 1 over q times the derivative 
y minus q x. So what's, what's that going to be here? Well, that's going to be 1 over x e y minus 1 multiplied by e x plus 1 plus e y plus e y minus e y should probably put this a little bit further here minus e y so this to cancel out and in the end what do you have well you're gonna have this expression here which is not reducible and that means that this is actually a function of both x and y so we cannot really use this to solve the equation. So we need to actually find r dash instead and see if that is actually reducible. So what I'm going to do now is try to find that expression there. So let's try to find r dash. So that's the 1 over p. partial derivative of q with respect to x minus partial derivative of p with respect to y and that's going to give us the following expression so that's e x plus y plus y e y multiplied by e y minus e x plus y minus e y minus y e y this to cancel out and we can take the minus out so that's going to give us the following should be an e e x plus y plus y e y and you notice immediately that these two terms cancel out because they're the same, so that gives us minus 1. And is this a function of y? Well, it is not a function of x, and what I mean by a function of y is that it is independent of x. So it is independent of x, so that is actually acceptable in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to proceed to find that function of y by using the formula r dash y here. So that's going to be e to the power of minus 1 dy equals e minus y. And this is going to be very important. So why did we go through all the trouble of finding this particular value of the function? Well, we can use this to multiply the whole differential equation that we had in the beginning and that's actually going to reduce it to an exact differential equation so I'm going to show you how that works now we have e to the minus y so if we multiply our original differential equation which was e x plus y plus y e to the y dx plus x ey minus 1 dy equals 0 and if we multiply everything by e to the minus y so there's going to be another e to the minus y here at 0 well, what's going to happen when we carry <coughs> inside this expression we're going to get e to the x plus y dx plus x minus e to the minus y dy equals zero now is this differential equation separable sorry not separable exact well let's call this m and this n so if we get partial derivative of m with respect to y that's going to give us one and if we get a partial derivative of n with respect to x, that's going to give us 1. 
So this differential equation is now uh, exact. And you might think, is it the same differential equation? Yes, because all we did was multiply it by this factor here, which is actually completely acceptable. We can do that with any differential equation we can manipulate. It. That's kind of like doing algebraic manipulation with it. So yes, in fact, we can actually do that. And we ended up with this. So now that we have that, we can actually proceed to solve this. So let's have a look at what we get when we solve this differential equation. We know that we're going to have a function defined as mx, y with respect to x. So what's that going to be? Well, in this case, we're just going to have ex plus yx plus gy. And we know the other condition is the partial derivative of u with respect to y has to be equal to nxy, which is in this case equal to x minus e to the minus y. And what is the derivative of that? Well, with respect to y, that's just going to be x plus gy equals x minus e to the minus y. So these two cancel out, integrate both sides with respect to y to get g. So g becomes following. That's going to be e to the minus y plus some constant. And now that we have that, we can actually write down th the general solution to that differential equation as e to the x plus x to the y plus e to minus y plus c. So hopefully that um, explains what's going to happen when you have the case where m and n, are n the partial derivatives, are not actually equal to each other. And it's only applicable for the case where you can actually find either an expression of r or r dash, which are functions of either just x or just y. So basically, if you're finding r, you want the function to be independent of y. And if you're finding r dash, you want the function to be independent of x. And if either of those is satisfied, you can find the function f and then multiply the differential equation through by f. And that will give you an exact differential equation, which you can actually solve by the other methods we just showed. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about another type of ordinary differential equation, which is called non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation, particularly first order.